Recently, both See Me 360 and Color Me Vino teamed up for a Meet the Candidates event. There was some wine, there was some conversation. Let's join the fun. Everyone that has summited Whiteface Mountain, keep your hand up. You have all trespassed and broken the law. Bill Daniels, you are currently on school board, is that correct? That is correct. All right, what are you running for right now? I'm running for city council. City council, so you're stepping up. Yeah, in 2014, the school district had a lot of issues, budget issues, the, uh, the county was overseeing their budget and everything. So in four years, I had the opportunity to come in and help turn it around. And I see similar problems with the city today, and I want to step up and be able to help turn it around as well. What, was, what would you say was your, uh, your most accomplished moment being on the school board? What's something you're proud of? There's so many. Uh, probably, getting the, probably getting the budget uh, in order. Uh, having a because we have to report budgets for three years out and having a positive budget um, we were a, we were also able to approve in the first couple months we were able to get uh, term limits uh, put on the ballot for 2016 that overwhelmingly passed with the public um, and unfortunately uh, my second month as well we had to close two schools but it was the business decision that we had to do to help uh, the rest of the school district by that decision and, and overall that was a good decision. Fred Thomas for City Council. Fred, what made you decide, Is wait, have you been in politics before? No. Okay, so you have not. What made you decide to want to run for, for City Council this time around? Well, it's something that's been on my mind for quite a while, but the, the one thing that triggered it this time was uh, looking at the, the budget challenges that lie ahead for the city, and I, I believe that I could make a difference. Well, that's fair enough. I'm very noble of you. All right, so we're standing now with money. Brian Dennert. Brian Dennert, you are running for Park Board, is that correct? That's correct. You are a teacher for Royal High School, is that also correct? Yep. Why are you not running for school board and you chose Park Board? I like our parks. Uh, I'm a teacher during the day, and I want to get back in a different way. I play my part in our parks, I bring my kids to them, and I just want to help out on the parks. Very good. What year did you graduate? 1995. From Royal? Yep. And you teach at Royal? That is true. I'm class of 93. Were you aware that when I graduated high school, we were the 13th year Marmani League water polo champions? Kind of. Jerry Schaffner. That's me. Jerry, what business do you own in town? Uh, I own JBS Auto. How many times have you been voted something or other with JBS Auto? <laughs> Top shop, last five years. Very good. Now, you, now, what are you running for again? I'm running for mayor. You're running for mayor. I like your shirts. Um, you. What made you decide to run for mayor this time around? What was, the, what was the defining moment? I think we asked you this before, and I was unsatisfied with the answer. You probably were. Um, I've been approached by a lot of my customers to actually run for mayor, and I made them a promise that I would actually run once I'm retired. Well, that's happening, so I'm running. America, America. You not only run, but you play tennis. Is that also correct? Every night, if I can. I'll be the most in shape person on the board. All right, very good. Are you selling your house? No, I'm not selling my house. He's not selling his house. Currently a city councilman. What are you running for, Keith? I'm running for mayor. Mayor. So you've been on, how long have you been on council? Six years now. Six years. Why did you decide to, uh, to step it up to the, um, your A game? Well, when uh, I retired from the fire department in 2005, and started opening up businesses here in Simi Valley. And when I went and met with uh, city administration, I learned that you cannot treat people like this. And so I ran for council so I can make a change, and I want to continue to make these changes. And so now I'm, uh, I've served my time as a council member, which I think is extremely important to have some experience, and now I feel I'm ready for mayor. What's the largest motorcycle jump you've ever attempted? I like it when you say attempted, because I've attempted many. <laughs> <laughs> Succeeded at a few. But, um, yeah, my past uh, as a rider for Yamaha International Corporation it follows me even today. Uh, I left Yamaha in 1973. Before I was born. 
Uh, but <laughs> I, I, I think that's probably the case with a lot of people. Barely, though, just barely. Yeah, yeah. But at any rate, uh, was able to uh, be in the movie On Any Sunday by Bruce Brown, the famous uh, surfer movie guy, The Endless Summer. Oh, you're in The Endless Summer? No, I was oh. in <laughs> on, on Any Sunday. Oh, on any same oh, guy. Did he make the same movie? Same guy made the same oh, movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I guess, Mike, your tenure as a city councilman, what would you say was the most toughest challenge that you, you've had to face as being a councilman for the city? One of the toughest challenges we have on the city council usually don't come from Simi Valley. Simi Valley is a great community. By itself, this is a great place to live. Our challenges are in, come from the state assembly and the state senate. The stuff they pass, the laws they pass that affect our city, uh, they're sometimes nightmares, sometimes they're okay. One of the things I give an example of in 2010 when I was elected, uh, we lost redevelopment because the governor decided to take it away. I don't really understand his reasoning to do it, but he did it. So right there, the city started off losing money. Um, every year, the assembly passed bills which affect cities, and it's, you know, it's, it's, that's the stuff we're always working against. T.J. McInturf, who has formally run for city council, and he did not win, but he did get some votes. So, T.J., why are you not running this time around? Well, I thought I'd help all the candidates by not running this time. No. Uh, you know, Mike, I love our town just like all of us out there, and uh, I just have more work to do. I need to gain more experience and <laughs> raise some more money because <laughs> it costs a lot to run. And just time. We have a new baby at home, so um, I just really need to focus Congratulations. on my family a little bit and uh, just get be more involved and learn more about it because I don't want to just, uh, you know, I learned a lot from the last election uh, as far as running and what's involved and a lot about different organizations. And so if I can just learn more, I feel like when my time comes, I can be more of an asset to our town. This is, you know, our families and our friends. TJ, 2028. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Backside, you guys rolling? Is this rolling? a video? You're rolling video right now? Yeah, Backside, right. okay. We're gonna reveal, I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how could you tell? Come on. <laughs> Come on, how? <laughs> 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 these, these are good, right? These are pretty good. All right, Jerry, what do you gotta say? I gotta say. <laughs> Future mayor, run the city, help everybody out, help me, help you. All of us need to get involved. Go team. Some words for our yeah, adoring true. audience. Yeah. Sure yes, uh, being mayor is the number one place where you can serve the people. I intend to serve the people with integrity and will always listen to each and every one of them. Time out, cut. Hey! 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 hey. All right, I'm set. Keith, any parting words, buddy? Yes, the, uh, the mayor of the city of Simi Valley is the person in, who leads the team in serving the people. The entire team are servants, and I want to be and continue the service, and I will serve with integrity, and I'm always there to listen. Right, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Brian Dennett for Park Sport. Anything you want to tell our audience right now that they need to know? Uh, two things. First, uh, my priority is going to be our after-school clubs and improving them and supporting the staff, going to those clubs and asking them what they need. The second part is I painted you tonight. I just want to put this over and see if it matches up. I thought, what would you look like if you were bald and I painted you in a park? I thought it was appropriate with happy face still in the corner. So uh, thanks for a fun night. All right, you know what? I, appreci I appreciate you and I appreciate your, uh, your creative take on this. It's you, all really, you really personalized this one. If I find it's just like now, I think he gets to keep it. <laughs> yes. Okay, Bill Daniels, you're running for city council. Anything that uh, our viewers need to know about you? As a city council member, I would like to be part of the team to develop the vision of where Simi Valley is going into the future. Also, we need to do something with our budget to make sure we're fiscally responsible and we are sustainable going into the future as well. And I want to be part of that team. So thank you very much. Right, did you have a good time tonight? I had a great time. All right, I appreciate thank you, you coming out here. Thank you.
Fred Thomas, you're running for city council. What do you want our viewers to know about you? Oh, I am. You know, I'm a transplant from the San Fernando Valley some 25 or so years ago. And I have absolutely fallen in love with this town. Um, I've been involved ever since I moved here, and I love the community spirit and the way the members of the community get involved in this community. I've, I've done just about everything that I could think of doing. And I'm now ready to make the, the you know, ultimate commitment and run for city council. I think that the timing is right. I think uh, my business experience and my passion for the city uh, can help deal with the financial challenges ahead. I'm also a businessman and, and I'm making this city a business friendly community seriously. And I, I, I want to work with the community. And I, I, Hoping to uh, develop a business roundtable and actually get the business leaders in the community involved in making changes. And uh, I'm looking forward to this and I'm enjoying every minute. And thanks for doing this. I appreciate you coming down. Very exciting. I wish you luck. All right, thank you. All right, Councilman Mike Judge, what do you want Simi Valley to know before we wrap this up? Well, what I want to know is that I want to first of all wish good luck to all the other candidates. We want to have a nice, clean race and everybody know our attributes and what we want to do for the city. Uh, what I want to tell you about me is for the last eight years, you're going to get what you've had for the last eight years. A councilman that is responsive to the city and representative for all of Simi Valley. There for all the citizens any time of the day or night. If you have questions or problems, feel free to call, PM me, text me if you have the number. If you don't, it's on all of my re-election stuff. So just get that number and if you need anything from me, give me a call. Anybody in the city is giving you problems about something, always try to get a hold of the electeds to square it away. Well, I appreciate you coming down here. And, I also and appreciate we appreciate... We appreciate his loyalty to our commander in chief that is leaving us, yes. and we'll see who replaces him very shortly. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. They're actually the proprietors and owners of this establishment, Color Me Vino. You guys were very gracious, you know, to let us come down here tonight and bring all these yahoos. <laughs> you know, introduce yourself and, and and tell us, you know, a little about what this place is, how long you've been here, and, and what you guys do. Sure. Um, well, we're the epitome of mom and pop shop and uh, we have a studio where you come in and you paint with your friends family or your enemies hey you might become friends after your enemies we actually have beverages that you can drink a little bit of alcohol in them if you want that um, but basically we just go through paintings uh, it's about two hours good times all right, so wait, basically, okay, basically this is a, like a painting class where, you know, people come down after work, it's like a hobby. How, how much is it to sit up and, and to, to run one of these and have a good time? Um, most of our classes are $35, and then if you have a huge bar tab, hey, that's, that's all about you. It's okay. good, you know, hey, we're fine with that. Yeah, I mean, basically, it's a, it's a night out, you know, for fun, and I think Simi Valley needs something different like that. Um, yeah, you can go to the movies, and yeah, you can do all that, but this is a place you can socialize, you meet new friends. We have memberships that you can do, and a lot of our members have become friends because of, because of the memberships that we have um, started. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting whenever you have members and they start talking about different paintings that they want to paint, and they start competing a little bit with each other, and then they send us stuff that they want to paint. It's, it's, it's fun. It's a community-building thing. And because it's a community building thing, that's why I felt this was important for CME 360 to have the opportunity to come out here and interview the candidates and put together a little bit of publicity. Because, you know, hey, it's politics, kind of boring unless it's Mike Artist, <laughs> Sardo, you know. So, um, well, I want to say I appreciate you guys. Thank you for letting us use your venue. And, I, and believe me, you have a lot of fans, you have a lot of friends. We also have free popcorn if you come in, and there's more than two people here. Popcorn, it's not just for the comments section, folks. You know what? Um, this is a really cool place, and one thing that I like about it is it's different. Like, I mean, there's, there's paint pals and other things like that in town that's kind of uh, engineered more toward children. This one's actually kind of toward adults. It's kind of like, hey, you know what? Get off work. Come down here. Have a couple glasses of wine. This is a full bar, you said? Uh, pretty close. Yeah. Okay. I don't know close. how good the painting quality is going to be after you do shots, but it is a no, full it, it's bar. It's better. It's better once you <laughs> take advantage of the bar. Yeah, you got to hey. take the liquid courage, you know. And get so all Todd, Todd instructed this class. Um, yeah. Do you guys want to see uh, my picture? Do we have my picture? Oh, we got hey, who's, my, who's could, uh, This picture's pretty amazing. Wendy, are you also an artist? I am not. She I, is not an I artist. Not. Yeah. I She's obviously an artist and a model. Yeah. So does this look like Sardo? 
Just a little bit, right? It's pretty good, right? A little bit of character in there, right? This is my new wave uh, inner ego going on here with this one. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that beard, it was, it's, this is too short. I need to go longer on that beard. <laughs> uh, my eyes are so black, I just, you That's know. the way I see you, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, he's black. So, anyway, everybody come down here and check this place out. We're gonna be coming back here more often, I hope. We have other ideas. Um, they've opened this venue up to us. Uh, they're closed on Monday, so don't come here on Monday. You might catch us. But uh, this is a lot of fun. A lot of people come here. And they really have some pretty, some pretty awesome artwork that comes out of this place. And you know oh, yeah. what? We, we're amazed all the time. Have a couple drinks, relax, have fun with your friends. So anyway, guys, thank you, Todd. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Wendy. Yeah, thank you. Lovely, thank very you. much, thank you. Go see me 360. Yeah. All right, man, until next time.